what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so this is not a hellboy video today but just want to show you that uh behind the scenes i got my garage i got everything organized again i got a bench i got my hellboy parts up there i got all that mess cleaned up and got my tool i can actually see the top of my toolbox so it's good i ain't got a bunch of crap like this stuff right here this will be gone today and I'll tell you why in a second, but I can even walk behind my car now. This is great. This is great. Those are Hellboy parts in the box. Now, on to the video. The same thing about Hellboy. Spot old pillar. So, there's some changes. Um, one day I just miraculously decided to drive the pill machine and uh, get the battery tested because it keeps killing batteries. So, um, as on my way back home, I hit my little straightaway or whatever, I decided to hit it. Just ready for it to start misfiring. Didn't misfire. I'm like, what the? So, I did 70 miles an hour and hit it again. I guarantee it was going to misfire. Didn't misfire. So, I'm like, hmm. Then I looked at my IATs. It was at 228 degrees. I'm like, oh. So, uh, my meth isn't working. So, I was watching previous videos. Um. On the dyno from behind, whenever it was misfiring, you seen a bunch of meth getting sprayed out the exhaust that I didn't even pay attention to. So, with that being said, this car was proper, improperly tuned to run this meth. So, I'm just going to just do away with the meth. So, there's some big changes going on with the pill machine. So, I sold the meth kit. So, that's about to come off today. And then, I sold the k and intake. That's coming off today. The car will no longer have an LS7 map. I'm taking it back to an LQ4. Hold on, this plane is flying. Wow, thing. All right. Like I was saying, um, yeah, the LS7 map's coming off. We're going back to an LQ4. The 3 0 pulley is gone. It's going on a 2 8. But it's like, Evitura, why, why you got high IETs and you put a 2 8 pulley on and you're losing the meth? What are you doing? Well, it's getting a full size intercooler now. So, the changes that's going to happen is I'm actually, this, this car will be set up like Sindel. So now it's about to be in par with almost Carnage and Sindel. So, I need to get an alternated relocation kit because on these this particular style alternator you see how it's like almost touching the supercharger so you gotta get an alternated relocation kit when you run a full size or it'll touch it so that brings that back so that's gotta happen and then i got a full size intercooler lined up um so we'll be full size on a 2.8 i could go smaller i could just probably run a 2.5 on this car at that point but I'm not going to for two reasons. One, I'm on 60 pound injectors. Two, I'm on a stock transmission. So I'm already going to be on a prayer, but I don't care. Anyway, that's why I'm getting rid of LS7 math too, because I don't need it. For this particular build, an LQ4 would be far sufficient enough. So putting it back on an LQ4 math. Um, it'll be less of a heartache to tune it too. So. This car don't need all that because it's like I said, this this a 2.8 pulley would be sufficient enough on LQ4. So uh yeah, we're gonna have a full size on here, alternated relocation kit. Um I'm probably gonna get some uh, I'm gonna probably get these powder coated um in the supercharger and the alternator. I'm gonna do a carp copper and black. Um we'll see how I go. If not, I'll just paint them until, you know, funds allow it. But that's the plan anyway, to get it copper and black. Um, also, it's going to get um, the same type of, uh, oh, it's going to get a turn down too because of the clearance. It's going to get the same style fender wheel intake that I made for Sindel. It's going to be just like that because I know it already works on 04 Plus. So it'll get that. And then I got to get a 97 uh, 
Grand Prix coolant bottle that goes behind the headlight and that's gonna be my reservoir bottle like I did in all the cars so that's the plan full size 28 fender wheel intake and uh, water bottle so the pill machine is gonna be crazy next year um, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that this car is gonna be down for the year it's gonna be down but I'll uh yeah I'll, I'll get it it'll be better next year it'll be better but that's enough of the talk let me um first I'm gonna start out by taking this intake off and then once I get the intake off I gotta clean off this uh meth jet it's for the customer that bought it off of me and make sure it works properly and then I gotta tear the front end off so I can get the rest of the kit off and then the supercharger's gotta come off so uh I love for the yapping. Let's get to work. So I got um, the bumper off, the coder intake. Now I'm about to take off the uh, windshield wiper reservoir bottle because that goes with the kit. Um, so you know how I had it set up. Like there's the windshield wiper fluid bottle. Then I had, uh, this is for those ain't been seeing what I did. But that's the, uh, the line right there for the meth and then it goes all the way around to the pump there comes up there and then I had it a little sneaky guy that you didn't even know it was there that's pretty much it there's a controller right there but all right so I'm gonna take me a break but it won't be a break for you guys and uh, I'm gonna get this washer fluid bottle out and then what I'm going to do is the fluid in there, I'm going to pour it into, uh, I don't know what I did with that bottle. It's around here somewhere. Well, that bottle, you see me in the time lapse when I was testing the jets, I'm going to pour the rest back in that bottle. So um, let's get to it. There's the complete setup. Um, I got that bottle and that bottle that's going, and then all these other bottles. That full box is unopened, and then that box right there. 
So I'm about to package that up, package up that coder intake, and then reset my work area up. And then after I get that situated, boxed up, ready to go, then um, I'm going to get the supercharger off so I can get that spacer off. Yeah, get the supercharger off, spacer, and that'll be it. That's all I got to do today. So, um, let's just begin. All right, so off camera, I got the intake packed up, and that is the boost juice, and the other half, and everything else for the meth kit is in that box. So, that stuff's ready to go. Now, I want to get the supercharger off. So, this shouldn't be too bad. I got to take the belt off, of course. And then uh, take the fuel line off and disconnect a couple sensors and vacuum lines and then put the bolts out. So let's get it done. DJ DJ Business Pack. So, supercharger's off. Um, I noticed a little bit of coolant. I don't know how I had coolant. I just had just a little bit of spillage. Not much. It didn't get in the valves or nothing. So, that's cool. Because these is like welded completely shut. And uh, there's um, like coolant in there. I don't know how that would... As long as it ain't going in the engine, but... It shouldn't be I'm gonna have to when I put the gasket on I just have to put some gray RTV around there just so you know it doesn't come up and go on where it shouldn't be going but that's besides the point so we got that together um, I'm gonna just slide the supercharger back over top of that and then uh, let's take it the rotor pack Let's look at that. Let's see how those look. Hmm. Hey, I mean, be all right. Especially for what I'm doing. It'll be all right. All right, so this piece right here is getting shipped out. I sold this. Um, I won't be needing that where I'm going. So, yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna end this video right here. Um, as you see, pretty much the cars are at a standstill. Um, I'll clean that up. That rest, I'll do some work on that. Uh, yeah. So I gotta get parts for this and then um hell boy i just um got it back on the ground and then uh i'm gonna put the stock fans back on do my fuel pump and then check my wiring harness and then put my front bumper back on and call this one good till the motor comes back home so that's all i got i can't make videos if i ain't got nothing to make a video for but if I can, I will. So until next time, I'll catch you guys. <laughs>